Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. I really feel like there could be um, possibly a woman in a very masculine energy who could have Libra in their chart. That's what I'm picking up on right now. Here's the chariot and the queen of swords in the reverse. So the king and the queen of swords are in the reverse with the chariot card here. We have a full moon and cancer that's coming up. Somebody is possibly shape-shifting, or this is a couple, but the Page of Swords is here. Someone is watching you, or someone has, yeah, someone is watching you gathering information. The Four of Swords is in the reverse. Someone sees that they, that you are healing, perhaps. The Fool is in the reverse. Somebody may feel foolish for something that they've done to you. Because they see that you're healing and the sun is here. It also feels too like someone has been exposed. Someone has most likely figured out that you figured them out. And whatever this foolish act is, they, they're being exposed. Or they see that everything is going to go well. Now, the reading that I did earlier today, I was picking up a very dark energy of somebody's conjuring up something very, very dark. Um, perhaps to do like a full moon ritual or something like that. You know, maybe this is like an isolation spell. You know, it's the week right now of Christmas, the holidays. Like somebody is trying to do something like that. The Queen and King of Swords is here in the reverse. So for some of you, even if you and a person are together, whether it's a friend, family member, lover, whatever, somebody could be trying to create a lot of tension between you and someone like so that there will be i mean the king and queen of swords both in reverse it's a lot of manipulation there's also someone acting very irrational being very cold very detached someone that this right here has to do with communication and my phone just went off as i said this so confirmation this has something to do with communication you could find yourself um wanting to like argue with someone via text message or on the phone or something be very careful. It's Mercury retrograde, of course. Um, issues with communication. This, this feels like a part two to the reading that I did earlier today. But somebody is watching. And with the Page of Swords, somebody is watching actually to see if you and someone will have some type of fight or blow up. Somebody, somebody, yeah, they're, they're doing chaos conflict magic. And they're sitting back watching the four sources in the reverse. They're sitting back. But somebody is... <laughs> somebody is going to see very quickly that this isn't going to work. The star. No, it's not going to work. This ten of swords here. Whatever this dark um, energy is that someone is projecting to cause some kind of painful ending, it's not going to work. Instead, there's going to be a very positive outcome to the situation. Yeah, this is not going to work. So if you were wondering or even worried, I feel like you're good. You can mark yourself as safe. This isn't going to work. Um, still just be mindful of the situation and the energy. Yeah, here it is again. This Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords. This has everything to do with an offer coming in to you. Yeah. Five of Swords in the reverse. You're in some, it's like you're being taught right now. And, you know, we did just have, uh, well, we're in Sagittarius season. This is um, understanding peaceful compromise. 
understanding the importance of not reacting and responding to everything. The Five of Swords is here in the reverse. So this is saying that whatever this conflict is, it's supposed to come and have you down and out ten of swords that's supposed to cause this painful ending. It's not, that's not what's going to happen. You're going to have a very peaceful ending because this conflict is going to end. This is like, you know, when a person, somebody is count, trying so hard to count you out and, and they're actually messing themselves over. It's like somebody, they want to dig a hole for you that they are going to fall into themselves for doing this. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. This Ten of Wands in the reverse is falling underneath this King of Swords. Somebody could feel very stressed, maybe even burned out, or somebody... I'm, I'm picking up, I'm really picking up like a verbal altercation. I'm picking up an argument where it's like two people here are going to really go at it. Like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. And what you may not see or understand is that for some of you, this is actually being sent to this chaos and conflict is being sent to you. But it's like the, the divine is going to make sure that it works in your favor. Some of you are going, and this sort of came out earlier. Some of you are going to have like an argument or a disagreement with somebody where it's like you're going to be very transparent and vulnerable about how you feel. So somebody is going to possibly spiritually attack you and create some type of tension, chaos, and conflict. But you're going to come out winning because either you're going to, it's going to, this tower is going to cause a breakthrough. So it's actually working in your favor. This is when your enemy is truly used as a footstool. Because, yeah, it's like some type of chaos, conflict, or tension is being sent to you. Because it's King of Swords, it's like, I'm so stressed out. I'm, I'm working hard. I'm trying to do this, trying to do that. Da, 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 da. You and somebody may have a, a situation like that. But then look, the magician and the emperor. Somebody's going to say something that they really need to say, that they've been holding in, or it's just an emotional release. I mean, it's a full moon and cancer coming up. Somebody has been hiding how they feel or really not saying how stressed out they are about a situation. And as soon as this, this situation comes out and somebody says the words or they cry, yell, scream, whatever, it's going to create some type of breakthrough here that's going to finally allow somebody to get rid of this stress and anxiety because somebody's like finally going to be able to just be real about a situation. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse, Five of Wands. This is all this conflict, chaos, negativity. Somebody is feeling drained by a situation. The Five of Wands here, I'm telling you, it's all the, the Seven of Cups, Five of Wands is chaos and confusion. Chaos, confusion, conflict, jealousy, competition, disagreements. And, and this, for some of you, could be a lot of outside influences affecting you at this time. And it's causing you to feel very negative. It's it's like real, a lot of pressure, but you know. Pressure makes diamonds. I would say for a lot of you, just go with the flow. Something that's meant to sabotage you and be for your, to hurt you, harm you in some type of way, it's actually going to really, really help you. Is if for some of you, yeah, it's somebody's going to have some type of emotional outburst, but I'm telling you, it's a tower. It's going to create a breakthrough. Somebody's gonna finally just say the truth about a situation with their family, their finances, they're tired of something. Somebody this could even be a breakup. It could even be a breakup here, but whatever whatever the tower is, it's needed. I'm seeing a different deck in my head now. I'm going to get it in a second. Yeah, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Fool and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. 
The Ace of Swords is in reverse. Somebody has been having difficulty communicating the truth. This is a lot of communication challenges here. Mercury retrograde. Somebody's in the thick of this right now. With the fool in the reverse. Somebody, do, somebody does not know how to communicate how they feel. And so the three of wands is here in the reverse. This is why something is not progressing. Because it's a communication problem. Yep, look at that, the tower. The eight of wands in the reverse. And the Empress. Um, the Tower, Eight of Wands in the reverse, and the Empress. So there's something here that's going to happen just all of a sudden. But this is this is the sun here with the Tower. So something is being exposed. There's a truth being spoken. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like whatever has been blocking communication or these thoughts, feelings, or emotions is about to be removed. I'm picking up for some of you if this has to do with like a relationship, especially if you are a feminine watching, you could be dealing with somebody right now and you're really trying to figure out how this situation is going to move forward. Either you or this person have a problem with some kind of communication. It, um, Oh my gosh, it's like I'm hearing a song, but it's an Adele song. It's like somebody needs to figure out how to show that they care for you, but some type of stress, fear, anxiety of telling you the truth about something is blocking it. You do have the Six of Swords here in the upright, which is moving on to peaceful, calm waters. Or you could be moving away from this situation. The Ten of Pentacles is here in the reverse. Nine of Swords in the reverse. The Devil in the reverse. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could have to move away from a situation that's causing financial challenges. Or someone has to move away from like some kind of family dynamic. That's causing a lot of conflict. It's calling, causing loss. The Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Yeah, and here's the Five of Cups. Somebody is just not, somebody has not been standing up to their enemies. The Seven of Wands is here in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody, so, this feels like somebody is about to really have an outburst about friends, family, finances. And I feel like somebody is saying clearly, like, you don't stand up to your friends. You don't stand up to your family. This is the reason why, you know, certain situations in your life are going a certain way. It's affecting me, blah, 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 blah. But this is something that needs to be said. Like, somebody has been skating on thin ice, walking on eggshells, not saying the truth. And this is so interesting because I know earlier I was saying, don't react or respond. This isn't, this is, you know... A similar energy. Some of you are experiencing the spiritual attack. Whatever this is, I would say be be mindful of how you react and respond. But something is going to come up. There is going to be a discussion for some, even an argument. And I feel like it really needs to happen. Even in the reading I did before, it was it was split, where it was like some people are being spiritually attacked and. You're thinking the worst about a situation, but then I was saying in that reading too, some of you, there's an argument that needs to happen because it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to break up with this person or move forward or for the dynamic of this situation to just completely change. I feel like spirit is coming back, giving us more insight about that situation. Because for some of you, you could even be like in some kind of third party situation, to be honest. It's like a casual situation or it's a third party. You want more of a commitment or something like that. This person and you, 
you're not progressing and it's it's really time to have the conversation like listen what's going on and you know the holidays make a lot of people think about things like that where you really need to it's a checkpoint conversation that needs to be had because somebody is still allowing friends family their their work or something else to stand in between a connection and i feel like somebody is about to is like finally about to just say like hey this is too much or I can't do this. You know, everybody's already talking about their New Year's resolution. Somebody's like, yeah, I'm not doing this next year. <laughs> Just plain and simple. And it's a conversation that needs to be had because whatever the situation is, it's blocking your growth. Yep, the strength in the reverse. Somebody here has been holding back from saying this out of some kind of fear. But if you were to speak up and speak out with this confidence here, it's going to lead you to the nine of cups. I'm sorry, this is the eight of cups. Somebody has, has had a fear of leaving something or someone behind. It's just very, very simple. And it looks like you're getting to a breaking point. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody has been has been afraid to leave something behind because you feel like you've put a lot of work into the situation but you're still not getting what you want it looks like this energy is about to be cleared out though yep hey man you're stuck in you're stuck stagnant you're dissatisfied with the situation you don't like how this is going the queen of pentacles is in the reverse this situation is not bringing any type of security stability you feel neglected in some type of situation. So again, for some of you, you know, if you're waiting on somebody to, to show and prove that you're worthy of something, it's a, it's an issue here. You yeah, have the four of wands is in the reverse. It's issues in this connection. It, it's, um, it's a lack of equal give and take, six of pentacles. You want a reciprocal relationship and you know for a fact it's not here. The high priestess. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is screaming at you telling you, hey, you don't want to live like this. You don't want to do this. You don't like whatever this, this setup or this design is, this dynamic in whatever situation, whether it's with a lover, friend, family member, you don't like this because it's not reciprocal. You know that you're not getting what you want. And for some of you, you probably fear or you know that it's not going to change. And it, it seems too like somebody is saying that a person is constantly making excuses. For some of you, if, the, if, if you're dealing with like a past person even, it doesn't matter if it's a past person, someone you're currently dealing with. This is a repeated thing. With this person, you know, they, they don't show up for different things. They don't prioritize you or put you first or whatever. Now, now we have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. This is a fast moving energy. Somebody now is about to rush and to now make a decision to go in a, in a new direction for Cups. Like I said, for some of you, this is a conversation that needs to be had. It, it feels like you're needing to put your foot down with something or someone. Because once you tell somebody that you can't do this anymore, you don't like it, it looks like somebody then may decide to, to speak up, to step up, speak up, speak out about something and make some kind of change. The Four of Cups is in the reverse. So this is the end of missed opportunities, the end of feeling stuck, stagnant, depressed, discontent, and bored. Now, this could be you choosing to just leave this situation behind, or once you speak your piece to this person, they're finally going to see where you're coming from. Take it how it resonates for you. For some of you, it's a turning point in an existing connection. For some of you, it's you choosing to leave someone behind and move in a totally different direction. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. You have the judgment card in the reverse. 
the Page of Wands in the reverse, Two of Swords in the reverse, and the Justice card in the reverse. So somebody is going to quickly tell you that, hey, this, this could be different. It won't be like this. Based on the judgment and the justice card being in the reverse, the two of swords being in the reverse and the page of wands, um, this seems like a lie. This situation is still going to be unfair. You're still not going to have the outcome that you want, which is the Ten of Cups. You're still going to lack some kind of emotional fulfillment here. The moon is in the reverse. It's time for you to see. You're not going to be happy here. Okay? It, somebody's like, hey, you know, we can work on this. This is going to be better. I see what you're saying. You know, after you finish yelling, screaming, crying, slinging snot, oh, I get it. I'm going to change. But it's like, this isn't this isn't changing. You have the judgment and the justice in the reverse. This is a clear indicator. This is a lie. The two of swords in the reverse. This is somebody who is one willing to make a choice. And it's falling right on top of this ten of pentacles. Somebody is making a choice to deal with their family or friends instead of you. So for some of you, if this is like a, a blended family situation, you're not going to ever be this person's priority. So the relationship is not going to ever seem reciprocal. Not to you. What you want, you're not getting it here because of something else that this person is invested in. So this is like somebody's always going to put their friends, their family, or their work before you. And I think that what's coming in now with the moon in the reverse, this illusion that you can have equal give and take and happiness in this connection is being shattered. You're seeing you're not going to be happy here. You don't like the dynamic of this relationship with this situation. Wow. So this person is going to rush in. As soon as you, you say, they're, they're quickly going to tell you that they have a solution for this problem. But the, realistically, especially if this is a family situation, this isn't something that's going to just change overnight. And I feel like there are several other people involved. This is the same energy that I've been picking up for several weeks now. Somebody is very, very closely involved, related, and, and is controlled by their family. Temperance in the reverse could be a Sagittarius. Something is just imbalanced. There is no peace or harmony here. Yep, King of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah. <laughs> and the Seven of Swords. This is a lie. And here's a nine of cups in the reverse. You're deeply dissatisfied with this person or this situation. And it makes you feel trapped. Eight of swords. It makes you feel trapped. It makes you feel hopeless. Powerless. It makes you feel like you regret this, this situation with this person. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is not going to go as planned. And it may cause you to just completely want to isolate yourself. Because when you look at the future or the Three of Wands, when you look at the plans that you've made, and then you look at what you want to happen in the future, it's becoming very clear to you. The Queen of Pentacles is still in the reverse. That you're just not getting what you want. You're being that you've been neglected, and you're this person is continuing to neglect you. So the wheel of fortune is here. It's time for a change. It's like I'm here. You left me with no choice. Is what I'm hearing. You know, I've been talking a lot lately about 
and these readings that this um tempest card keeps coming up in the reverse and i keep picking up on sagittarius energy and i know we're in sagittarius season but i find it very interesting how these um what i've been seeing especially in the relationship readings uh, when the energy comes out is the different people who are in these relationships that are very karmic where people have been trying to put on for community, you know, society, family, or whatever, those connections are crumbling because it has become too much to bear. And it's very funny to me because I see in the celebrity news, um, Cardi B and Offset, like all of the news that's coming out about their marriage, how they've been separated for so long or whatever, and he happens to be a Sagittarius. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, maybe that's like this Sagittarius energy that I keep picking up. But it's a lot of people going through that same situation where people, they're together because of friends, family, money, what it looks like. A lot of people are together because they feel like, well, two incomes is better than one. They're staying together for the children or whatever the case may be, but they're miserable. I feel like now a lot of people are waking up and they can't continue to live in, in this illusion that everything is okay or that it'll get better later. It's not. The Seven of Cups, as I said, that the illusions. Also, people are coming out of the illusion that, like, if, if you're dealing with a person that's a cheater, they're they're not. This this cheating is not something that's gonna stop. Yeah, the hermit. It's time to go within. Ace of Swords for some kind of truth and clarity about this this marriage situation or connection. The star here. Something somebody really thought that something was meant to be, and here's the tower. It's not. It's being destroyed now. Literally, the Seven of Cups. Somebody has been confused for a while about something. The Hermit. They're going on some kind of spiritual path or journey. And they're seeing the truth. Did they marry somebody or got in a relationship where they're living with someone? They thought that this was wish fulfillment. It was going to go the distance. And boom, here's the tower. Someone could have had a child together, anywhere between one to three kids. But look, it's two people here who are just stuck. They're living separate lives. There, there is no chemistry, no attraction or anything. Once again, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Somebody now is separated or taking a break from a situation. The justice card. You have to do what you know is right based on whatever is coming out about these secrets with someone. Yeah, I, I just feel, you know, it's giving them, me the energy too, like somebody living a double life. It's not a lot of details coming out about it because I feel like people who are in these situations that you've been in these situations for so long, you already know what's going on. The blended family, it's like you already know that this person is still spending time with, you know, the, the the mother or father, their children, or there's some kind of trickery going on with the kids, or someone is being dictated and controlled by their family or their friends, or, you know, you're, you're lying to keep up some kind of facade, or whatever the case is. Of course, if this isn't your situation, this could be the situation of someone that you're connecting with or connected to at this time, but... This this feels like, you know, same stuff, different. Like, there's nothing new about this. It's just that it's coming out so much in the readings because, of course, the collective right now, people are celebrating, you know, and people are noticing, you know, oh, that person, they didn't bring so-and-so to dinner or they didn't bring that person to the party. You know, people, it's harder for people to hide their truth now. Eight of Swords. Somebody feels just completely stuck. But this feeling of being stuck and powerless is ending. The world card is here. Yeah. Somebody also, what did I say before? Somebody knows they're in a third party situation. Somebody has been dealing with the fact that a person has them in some kind of third party. This is like someone who could be married. And they know that their person has and if this person is having an affair, somebody's having an affair with someone that they have children with. But I feel like somebody already knows that. They're like their their significant other is still creeping around like with a person that they have children with. Or this is this has always been an issue. 
Did somebody here always suspects that their 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 husband, wife, or whatever is still sleeping with somebody else that perhaps is from their an ex or someone that they have children with? Somebody already knows it. The Ace of Wands is here. Somebody Ace of Wands. Um, what is it? Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. Somebody knows that a person. <laughs> it's clear. Somebody around the holidays or weekends or whatever. When a person travels to get their kids or whatever, they're sleeping with that other person. So it, it's very clear. Yeah, look, there's the ex-wife or the baby mama, the empress. The hangman, this person is caught. Somebody is getting caught dealing with the their ex or someone that they have children with. Yeah. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This person works very hard. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yeah. King of Pentacles. This person usually is, is a father. This person could be financially. Yeah, look at that. King of Pentacles, the Emperor. And the Seven of Swords. This person is lying to someone that they have a connection with. They're lying. Because when they say that they're going to see the other, their family, kids or whatever, or they have to travel or whatever the case is, there's extracurricular activities that are happening here. And somebody is getting caught. Somebody knows this. There's a feminine out here. You know that this person is cheating and you're tired of it, but you've accepted it for a long time. Or you could be the person that this, that somebody is cheating. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But somebody knows that their person is living a double life for sure. You have here the lovers, the chariot, and then the devil. Yeah, and this is leading to an ending or divorce. Will of Fortune, it's, it's time for this change to happen. For the fool, a new beginning. Yeah. So somebody is getting caught. Santa's going to get caught and coming down somebody's chimney. Santa being daddy. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody is really making a lot of excuses about different things. But this person is communicating with someone from their past or that they have children with. And they're sleeping with this person and trying to confuse someone and, and you know, act as if that's not the case. And it is 100% the case. Somebody here is cheating. With an ex or someone they have children with. And this is something that they've been doing. Around the holidays, birthdays, this is what happens. When somebody travels, they're cheating. And whatever confusion or illusions has been present where somebody has been trying to give someone the benefit of the doubt, I think that's over. Somebody's like, no. <laughs> You, you need to go ahead and divorce. I just saw the death card on the six of swords. It's time to go ahead and put an end to this situation and move on. But somebody hasn't had the strength to move on. Maybe trying to keep the kids or the family together or something like that. But it's, what is the pop is a rolling stone? Somebody out here is a rolling stone. This person gets around. Yeah, Emperor, Six of Swords. It's time to move on. Divine Family, Empress. <clears throat> Some point in trying to hold on to this situation, either for finances, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you might as well be prepared for some kind of setbacks. Also, too, for some of you, somebody's going to start withholding intimacy from you, the Ten of Swords, it's because they're lying to you. They're sleeping with somebody else, Queen of Cups. Five of Swords in the reverse, the Hermit is in the reverse, the Devil is in the reverse, and here's the Ten of Swords. Wow, all these cards are in the reverse. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is, is tapped out, they're drained. Queen of Cups in the reverse. That's also being emotionally drained. Five of Swords in the verse. Somebody is tired of trying to make this work. 
and therefore they're completely withdrawing from the situation. So somebody is ending with the devil in the reverse. Someone is choosing now to finally be independent. They've had enough of this. Somebody has just had enough of the deception, the betrayal, being embarrassed. You have 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. This marriage or whatever is over. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody refused to learn from their mistakes. And they got in a connection with someone, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. And it was based on a lie. Somebody, somebody thought a person was going to change. They're not. Somebody thought somebody was going to change. That's why the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups is here with the judgment in the reverse. So somebody came in saying, let's work on a relationship. Let's work on a partnership. But the judgment in the reverse, they weren't sure about it. This person wasn't sure that they really could give equal, equally. They weren't sure that they really had the type of love or that they could commit to this situation. So this is somebody who has been in between two people living a double life. If you're not dealing with this, you need to be careful because somebody could try around the holidays or whatever to reach out to you. To, you know, hey, how you doing? Happy holidays. This person is always in between you and someone else. They, they're not making a, a decision. They're not. And when this person gets caught, they back up for a minute and they go back to wherever they, they go back to whoever will allow them to come in and sit their hat down. As long as you are open to this person, they're going to always come back. This person is not changing. Some of you need to, with the Ace of Wands and the Verse, Queen of Cups and Verse, you really need to stop sleeping with this person too because they are causing, this is an unhealthy sexual soul tie. They're causing you to become very um, irrational and emotionally imbalanced in this situation. And it'll lead to you being kind of immature, spiteful, or irrational. It's because you know that this person is not only sleeping with you. They're not only sharing their time effort and energy with you. This person is traveling or they're doing something. Yeah, when this person travels, yeah, it's secrets coming out about this person's travel. Hey, man, they're caught. They're caught. Somebody also could get caught too. Find, you may find out that somebody has been making plans to leave you or to leave you behind to go somewhere else or somebody has been telling you that they're making plans to leave another person behind to come towards you and they're trying to sell you on the idea that there is going to be equal give and take it's not true it's not this person magician they're they're manipulating you This is the same thing. So whoever this story is resonating with, you already know what's up with this. You have here literally twin flames, coffin, and the phoenix. So whatever type of connection here is here, it's ending. Or it needs to, so that you can go through your own rebirth, death and rebirth with the phoenix here. This is just a karmic situation that's ending. And it needs to end for good. So that you can deal with the heartache, the pain, or whatever, and move on to something new. I just saw a cassette. It's outdated thinking. So this could be someone, you know, it's better to be with somebody than alone. Or, you know, it's, it's good to stay together for the kids or whatever the case is. This is outdated thinking. This is, this is hurting someone. Somebody is... Suffering. I don't think whoever this resident, you won't be suffering in silence for too much long. Yeah, look at that axe. It says break up separation. 
breakup, separation, it's time for you to stop this pattern of letting this person come in and play games with you and then give you the sign of the treatment and abandon you. And then they come back. You know that this is not enough. You know it's not enough. Mirror, it says here, um, for some of you, your, your relationship is reflecting your wounds. So if you have an abandonment wound or some type of codependency, you're accepting the bare minimum from this person when you know that this person's stringing you along and they have several other options. You're like a key on the ring for them. This person goes out and they have one night stands with different people and they, they have you hanging on to hope. You know, it's false hope, broken promises, empath and narcissist paradigm. You're being charmed or used. You need to have boundaries with this person. And here you have it again. Um, golden mirror and sunglasses. Somebody is not showing you who they truly are. This person is a narcissist. They're very self-absorbed. They're love bombing you. They're gaslighting you. This person will not show you the, the, the true essence of who they are. This person is something about their soul. They're keeping to themselves because they know that it's dark and wicked. You have here wedding rings. Somebody here could be lying about the fact that they're actually married. Yeah. You guys need to be careful. You have somebody who is married, who has a lot of one night stands, sleeps around and all kinds of stuff. They breadcrumb you, give you the bare minimum. They're going to be calling very soon, wearing a mask, trying to gaslight you and pretend that they want something with you. And for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody like this and what you're going to find out soon is that this person is very much married. With paradise here, this person is married and, and if you knew the truth, you would see they probably act like they're very happy with the person that they're married with. So somebody is finding out soon that, you know, so it, it's a mistress out here. It's for sure a third party. And I don't see how the, whoever's in this situation, you have to know about it. But somebody is hanging on to hope that somebody is going to change. Yeah, the hammer. Something here is being done repetitive. It, it's repetitive. Somebody is constantly telling you that they they want to work on this connection with you. It's because they want you to chase them. They, they, so if you have fear of being abandoned or fear of a goodbye, you're chasing this person because you enjoy the, the chemistry with them. It's time for you to learn from the past. This person only comes in to sabotage you. This is the same thing. It seems like Mercury Retrograde is... Is, is really um, getting some people tied up right now because I was expecting to see some, some newer energy, but apparently it's a lot of people confused right now about these love bombing situations. I'm trying to figure out why because this is something that just keeps happening over and over and over again. <laughs> 